Uh, what are the major differences in uh, training and nutrition in seminaries and uh, nowadays? I think the guys eat too much food. You take too, I think my whole concept of it, what I'm seeing is they, they don't really push that muscle by contracting the muscle. They just pump the weight up and down, pump the weight up and down. So to me, you're not really building any muscle. You have to make a contraction. Inhale, exhale, if you're trying to build muscle. You can't just push that weight, pop, 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 a mm -hmm. thousand reps. And you're not even moving the weight, it's doing its contraction. So I'm not for how I see bodybuilding today. Bodybuilding today, to me, seems, you know, they, it, it doesn't look good to me. Back in those days, all of them coming at you weighed 260 pounds. When you came into a competition mode, he weighed 260 pounds. Okay. Uh, he would start training. We were going there. We were trained. Two days we were trained. Once in the morning, once in the evening. Okay. That was perfect. That was great. My body, my physique took off. Went to the moon after that. Because I was used to going to the gym and training the whole body every day. A <laughs> hundred reps of body part. And in that process, when I came out here in 75, I was like ready for what they were doing. To be able to come in the gym and train with those guys on steroids, use the same weights that they was using, I was just stunned, really. I was stunned. I was like, wow, so interesting how they're doing it and how I was doing it. I was thinking about um, athletes of uh, golden era being more uh, dedicated to the whole idea, to the culture of bodybuilding that it is nowadays. Because uh, when I was getting ready for this interview, I found out that prize money for Mr. Olympia in the 70s was actually one thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. Is it really true? That's right. Think about that now. 